Hey, this is Jacob at SalesPad. Today we're going to take a look at creating a return from a posted invoice. Um, there's two different ways to create a return within SalesPad, one from the customer card, the other from the customer from the actual posted invoice, and that's what we're going to look at today is just from that posted invoice. So I'm going to pull up my customer and drill into their sales documents. I have this sales document here, the 5243, um, which is a historical invoice, so I know it's been posted. If I look here, it actually shows that it's read-only and posted. And now I have this return button showing here. Now to get that return button to show, there's some security that needs to be set up behind it. So if I go into my security editor and look for create return, this is where I can actually create my return. Now I have some, the ability to turn on the um, ignore required user fields, um, and then I can also show the cost. So I need that checked. Once that's checked, the return button will show. When I click on that return button, it's going to bring up this screen. Now this is where I'm actually creating my return and as you can see I only have the one specific item number that I sold. I also have my checkbox showing serialized items or serial or lot controlled numbers. Um, so in this case this is a serialized item and I can pick the actual serial number of the item that I want to return or I can return both of those. In this case I'm only going to return one serial number if I need to adjust the price right now, my return amount is $59.95. Also, you can see what I sold that to the customer at $59.95. So I can put in a corrected amount. Now, this is a per unit corrected amount. So if I put $10 and I had a quantity of two, then my return amount would be reduced by a total of $20. Um, so this is per unit corrected cost. I can also charge um, you know, credit back freight for the customer for that customer if there was freight on this document I could also put in a return or a percentage charge so if I needed to charge a restocking fee um, I have my section for return notes and then I have some, also have my um, return user fields in this case I have a reason return user field which I can specify what was wrong if that uh, there was something or, or return or the reason that this customer is returning this item um, once I have that, those created I can go ahead and hit OK and this will create my actual return sales document or my return um, SOP document out of GP. So in this case, this is my return document, um, and then it's just like y'all was doing the regular um, or back to the same order entry screen that I have for my uh, creating sales documents. Once I save this document or this return, it now exists within GP as a new return. Um, and then it goes through the rest of my process as usual or as, I, as whatever process has been defined um, for you to handle returns. Now one other thing I want to point out is once this saves, um, I have my return number. I can also look at the related documents tabs which shows what serialized items have been assigned to this or fulfilled, if you will, to this return. And again, this you'll see the serialized item or the serial number of what I selected when I was creating that return. And then again, it goes back to um, however you process your returns, uh, typically through GP. Again, this is Jacob with SalesPad. Thanks for watching.